So I've made a couple of videos about this before, but I just love, love, love this answer the public tool. So I wanted to make another video because it's really, really important that you understand this. So what this does is pull all the Google auto suggest data that you see when you type into Google, you'll see it as a, a list like that. But what this does is put it all together for you in a way that is very visual and easy for you to understand. And it really is a roadmap for you for your content marketing strategy. You can pretty much take the top green items from each of these, you know, SEO is dead, SEO with Wix, SEO with Google, with React, with WordPress, with SquarePay. So you can see what are the, you know, people with Wix, I think are probably having the most trouble versus react google wordpress squarespace so you can almost see the order of um you know how many people are using which platforms for their websites out of that for example or can right can how can seo improve sales how can seo improve west web traffic so those are all questions that you can answer all the way down to this is the most important important SEO can be described as <laughs> so there's your your simile and, and see so you can even dig down into specific data right so let's say, let's say uh, I want the uh, four data I can bring the image for just four and you can see the for dummies for beginners for small business for website for WordPress for shop for YouTube, for photographers, bloggers, beginners. So I can see here that, you know, the For Dummies series is uh, popular. So like a book review of SEO for dummies would probably be a really good place to start. Uh, SEO for beginners, just write a simple article, SEO for beginners, you get the idea. Uh, so, so really be able to break down each of the concepts and figure out what's right for you, whether it's a preposition, uh, a comparison, right, versus like and for. So SEO, I'm <laughs> SEO like I'm five. I love that. Uh, SEO versus paid search. SEO versus SEM. And so all of these are article titles or video titles that you can develop into content that will match what people are searching for. You see how powerful this tool is. I really, really encourage you to go grab it. And of course. Then you can also grab these images, for example, I can save, where is it here? Save image, I can click this image and voila, I have this beautiful image that I can use in my video, in my articles, and in places like that. There's, don't believe there's any copyright on it. I suspect that if there is, it'll write it on the image itself. <coughs> Let's see, download image. I don't even see any copyright image on there. I don't think you'll have any trouble using this in any of your documents if you want to be safe, just like I am put a answer the public tag on it to tell people where it's from. But uh, yeah, I just cannot get enough of this tool. Highly suggest that you uh, start playing with it.